Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can install React in Laravel. So installing React in a Laravel project is actually really simple. And I'm going to show you everything from the very beginning, step by step. So first of all, let me just create a Laravel project. So let me just go to my new volume D. And let's say we create a project here. So for it, we need to open a command prompt at the top. So here I'm going to say CMD, then press enter. And right now, let me just zoom in. So here I'm going to write the command to create a Laravel project. So for it, we need to say composer create project and it will be Laravel slash Laravel. Then we need to give our project a name. Let's say here Lara react, then press enter. So once you press enter, it will start creating your Laravel project. So this will take some time. So I will just fast forward the video. So here you can see our project creation is complete and there should be a folder here. Uh, there you can see we have a project folder here called Lara React. So let me just go to the project directory. So in order to go to the project directory, we just need to say here CD Lara React and press enter. There you can see currently we are in the project directory. So in order to run the project, we just need to send here PHP artisan serve then press enter and it is running so let me just copy this then i'll go back to my browser and here i'll just paste it here then press enter so this is our first created laravel project and we are going to install react in this so for it uh we are going to use laravel breeze so using laravel breeze we can easily install react or view so we are going to install the react so for it let me just go down and here you can see we have a command here called composer record laravel slash breeze dash dash day so i'm going to copy this command and after copying this command let's go back to our project location so here you can see laravel react lara react this is our project that we just created so we'll go inside then we are going to again send here cmd then press enter there you can see currently we are in the project directory. So we are going to paste the command composer record laravel slash breeze dash dash dev and we'll press enter. So first of all, we need to get the require file for laravel breeze. So it will take a minute. So again, I'll just fast forward the video. And there you can see this done. So after it, let's go back to our browser. And here we have one more command, which is PS version breeze installed. So I'll copy this. Then let's go back to our command prompt and let's paste the command this version breeze install then we press enter. So here it will uh, give us a bunch of options here you can see blade with alpine, liver, then uh, liver, vol, functional API and here you can see react with inertia. So we need to choose this option. So in order to choose this option, here you can see it says React. So we need to write here React. So also just write here, then press Enter. It will start installing React in our Laravel project. So let me just press Enter. And it will take you uh, which option would you like to choose. Let me just say here None. Then press Enter. OK, any we capital, None. Then let's say here, let me just choose paste. So for tiling paste, we need to say at zero. So I'll say zero, then press enter. And there you go, it is installed. So installing may take a few minutes, maybe one or two minutes. So I'll just fast forward the video. And there you can see our installation is complete. And you can see it created some js file here so right now let me just open this project using sublime text or you can also use visual studio code as well so let me just go to my sublime text and here i would click on file then open folder our project was here new volume d and our project name was lara react this one so i'll just select it and then click on select folder and there you can see it open so right now if i just go to my resource then views there you can see we have app.blade.php so this is the react component actually react port and if you go to our js you will see the component for react there you can see dot jsx so this was created by narvel automatically and if you want you can create your own component as well and if we go to our layouts 
they will see some other part as well with authenticated and here you can see pages and we have the auth pages for confirm password login and registration part so right now we need to do a few more things and that is so right now before we run this command PSP addition mygate we need to create a database since we are trying to create a authentication so let me just go back to my code again and this time we'll just directly go to my .env file and here in the .env file there you can see the database name is SQLite we are going to use MySQL and our database name will be Lara React and let me just do one more thing and that is let me just put the config folder then inside config we have database.php let me go down and here you can see MySQL and I'm going to say here we stop database name we stop Laravel we are going to say Lara React. Let me just save this and I can now close those two. So we need to create this database. So let me just copy this and we'll go to our PSMI admin. Here you can see, then click on new, click on database name, then click on create, and the database is created. So let's go and run this command PSMI addition migrate. So I'll just copy this. Let's go back to our common prompt paste it here then press enter there you can see a few table is migrate it and if we now just refresh our lara react database there you can see we have some table here so after this we need to run two more command npm install and npm run dev and that's all so we're going to sit here npm install is done then we're going to sit here npm run dev then press enter and there you go so if we go to this address we'll be able to see the react so let me just copy this and paste it here press enter it will give us the react view there you go and if we just go to our laravel uh, this address then refresh it there you can see we have login and register bar let me just click on register and there you can see once we click on register there is no reload right now because we are using react so that's why there is no reload if we click on login you will see there is no reload for login as well so let me just register a user click on register let's say name will be yawin email would be yawin at the rate of gmail.com let's give a password one two three four five six seven eight and confirm password click on register there you can see it did not refresh our website so here you can see you are logged in so we are able to using react in our project so let me just go to my our resource then let's go to our layouts and there you can see authenticated layout.jsx and here you can see it says dashboard this of dashboard let's say here my dashboard then just go back to our browser there you can see it automatically update over here and one more thing is that make sure that npm dev is running okay keep this part running and if you want to make some changes here as well you can do it as well let me just go back to our code again and here you can see we have dashboard.jsx if you go there and here you can see it says you are logged in let's say you are logged in as a user set this and if we just go back to our browser there you can see it says you are logged in as a user and there is no refresh here in our laravel project so this is how you can install react in our laravel project really easily and if you want you can create your own react component over here and do whatever you want with your laravel project so thank you very much for watching if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.